Yeah, I want to show you a little trick that I use to clean a wick. Now, I don't know if this is going to work for every kerosene heater. This is how I clean a wick on this old one. This is a Perfection 1550 heater. Uh, it's from 1913, I think. So this, I take the screwdriver and I clean all this around here. Because this gets dirty, I'm using diesel, but diesel burns clean, but this gets dirty whether it's kerosene or whatever. Now if you notice, see on the top of the wick, it gets a little crusty. What I like to do is, this isn't seated, there we go. I like to do is do this with a screwdriver. Just cleans it off without wearing down a wick or nothing. And this thing's been doing great because it's been pretty cold. It's been going down into the 30s in Florida. Alright, so you know, just go around, do that. And watch your um fuel gauge on these because if you got one see this is down to zero but it's not really all the way down because I could show you something you don't have to worry about it being down to zero like in other words it gets down to zero on the gauge you gotta make sure you uh you know change it out and put fill it up but because you will burn a quarter inch of wick but if you noticed in here we can see that in there there's still uh, I don't know if that's showing up. It's still covering the wick, so it's still pulling up, you know, the fuel into here. When this runs out completely, completely, like when they they show this in zero, when it first goes to zero, it's not completely out. There's still some in there. But when this goes completely out, it'll burn about a quarter inch of wick right off of here. So you don't want to do that. But uh, every time you, you use this, you do want to clean um, the wick. If you do that, it runs really good. And this thing will last, I don't know, I don't have it up, I don't put it up all the way, but it'll easily last 12 hours for me. And I think that's partly because I'm using the diesel fuel. So, I'm going to clean this off. Now you can use a wire brush and stuff, but I just use a screwdriver, just go across here like this with the flat blade, cleans it right off, or a knife. And as always, start them up outside, and shut them off outside. So, you know, you get, you adjust your flame, I don't bring it up all the way, puts out a good amount of heat, and you got this thing on the top. If you want to cook, close that off. The top gets nice and hot. You can cook. It's pretty cool. The power went off here one time uh, the other day for about an hour, and this thing was still running fine. So <laughs> it's like it's pretty good, you know. It's pretty good. Got plenty of diesel fuel. So that's what I'm using in this. But you got to remember, this is an old style heater. I got another one that's like newer from the 1980s. Bought in 1987 in Korea. That also has a cotton wick in it. It's even though it's more modern, it's not the ones you get today. I don't know. It's mixed results if you can use diesel fuel on them or not. But you know, it's not economical using some other stuff. I got a couple hundred gallons of diesel on hand, so I, that'll last me a lot of winters. <laughs> so anyway, it's been a good old heater, man. See, it says oil heater. That's another thing. Perfection oil heater. That's kerosene and diesel fuel and home heating oil. The whole nine yards. Why did they not make them like this anymore? I don't know. I don't know. Here, that's the model number. 1550. 1550 right there. See that? Trademark. Registered. U.S. Patent. Oh, patent off. So I think this is 1913 when this was done. Still going strong. Do you need new tech? No. No. 
I'm old tech. Old tech. See that 78 El Camino over there? That's old tech too. Could be it could have been a 1930 Model A pickup too, it'll work fine. 